going on, Taurus? It's your girl D with Eight House Energy here to bring you your weekly reading. This is going to be for January uh, 12th, which is Sunday to Saturday, January 18th. I hope all is well with you guys and that you're having a pretty productive week. Uh, let's see what's going on with you. Oh, before that, thank you so much for all your love and support, Taurus. I do appreciate you and all that you do for the channel. Thank you. I love you guys so much. Um, if you need a personal reading, um, the information is in the box below. This is going to be a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate, check the... Um, placements in your chart if you don't know where they are there's a link below that will allow you to you put your date of birth in and, and you'll be able to scroll down to the bottom of your page and see your placements so you definitely want to check that if this reason if this reading doesn't resonate with you okay um what else do i want to tell you guys there's a contest going on there's going to be an extended an extended version of every reading i do uh moving forward starting january of, of this year all right so i post weekly for you guys and i also post three monthly videos so that's a lot of videos so you get a lot of um extended um footage by going to the patreon link and it's five dollars a month to join all right so if you um like the readings that uh i do over here and you want to see the extendeds for any reading whatsoever doesn't matter you know effective january of this year um at one price which is five dollars a month then the patreon link is below all right um let's see what energies are going on affecting you i mean we know we got um you know, four planets in Capricorn affecting everybody in reference to their career. Everybody's changing careers. Everybody's assessing their career situation, whether they're retiring, whether they're going into the workforce for the first time, whether they're graduating from school and deciding what they want to go into, um, whether people are leaving the workforce because they're retiring or going into the services. You know, we got things going on now in reference to that or whether people are, um, you know, uh, Going in and doing their own thing, you know, starting their own businesses. So a lot of a lot of a lot of energy going on with that. So um, okay, yeah. So that's in your ninth house, um, where you know it's all about your career, your reputation, um, your professional achievements, um, your moral condition as far as what you feel is right and wrong, what your values are, your internal, you know, um, limits as far as what you will and won't do. You know, um, your direction in life, your your life goals, um, also about prestige and position. So this is um, where we have all of these planets in that house. So all these planets, Mars, I'm sorry, Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mercury are affecting all of those energies that I met, that I mentioned, and they're affecting them in individual ways. So you're seeing a major shift globally. You know, especially me as a reader and as someone who follows astrology. Um, I study Western and Vedic astrology and just looking at the planetary alignments can tell you, you know, what's going on. And because we have so many planets in one house, this is affecting all of us on either a micro level within our own individual lives or on a macro level by you just turning on the news and seeing what's going on. But there's major changes going on globally. Um, you're seeing a lot of, of situations where it's all about the workplace, people changing jobs. Um, in the news, you're going to be learning about, you know, you're going to be seeing more information about jobs, whether it's unemployment rate going up or down, uh, because we have a lot of people leaving the workforce now because of technology, people are going out on their own. So, you know, people are at that stage now where they're taking that hike, you know, they're, they're saying, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump out there and do it. So that's a lot of the energy that's going on with the Capricorn as well. Also talks about um, your reputation and how you feel about yourself and how you want people to see you. All that good stuff. But let's talk about what's in your house right now. Because right now we got Uranus in your house. All right. Your house is all about your values, your feelings, your self-worth, you know, your um, your talent, you know, anything that you've heredit, that you've, um, you know, earned v via your heritage. <laughs> Excuse me, I can't even talk. Your social privileges and your cultural background based on your heritage. Um, any type of possessions that you own. You know, your money, your earnings. Okay, that's what uh, that's what you guys rule. Now, right now, uh, the planet that's in this house of all that you rule is Uranus. Now, this is how Uranus is going to affect all of that. Uranus is going to have you doing things your own individual way. Uranus is also about surprises, um, unexpected surprises. Whether they're good or bad, it's all about how you look at it. But there are definitely going to be some surprises coming. And because Taurus is all about Earth, solid Earth... Uranus is something that comes and shakes things up like it's like about your inner individuality your uniqueness 
Um, and usually it's expressed through rebellion or inspiration. So, you know, on a worldwide level, we're going to see a lot of rebellion going on. Um, unfortunately, a lot of things going on because it's a physical, um, you know, uh, earth is physical and Uranus is about surprises. We may see some natural disasters. We may see some things with buildings, you know, issues with buildings and structure because Taurus is about building. It's about structure, earth structure, the building itself. That's Taurus energy. Buildings that you see around, no matter, that's Taurus energy. That's strong, solid structure. Uranus comes in on a surprise. And it's like surprise and it does things. So what would it what would come in and surprisingly affect a structure, a stone structure like a building? Well, a natural disaster, you know, uh, maybe a fire, those types of things. So unfortunately, Uranus is the king of unexpected disasters, un, you know, accidents. So we just got to be careful in this day and time right now. All right. But Uranus is also going to be affecting you in a way where you're going to be wanting to do things based on your uniqueness, your individuality, how you look at things. Some people may look at it like you're rebelling, though. That's how the Uranus energy comes about when it's all about your uniqueness and your individuality. So just keep in mind, you're going to have people around you who may not understand you because, solid, you know, Taurus is usually so solid and so firm in what they do. It's like this is me. Usually with a Taurus is what you see is what you get, depending on whatever else is in their chart. But it's what you see is what you get. They usually don't change too much or shift too much. They're good. They're fixed. They're solid. They're structured energy. But Uranus is coming in and saying, you know what? This has been what's been going on with me all this time. This is how I was raised. I'm going to change things up now. So your family members might be looking at you like, wait a minute. That's not what we were, you know, and you're like, well, okay, well, this is what I want to do. I just never acted that out because I didn't want to deal with all the you know, the, um, the lash back that would come back from it, but this is me and this is what I want. So you're going to see, um, you know, situations like that where people are going to be going against the grain and doing what it is that they want and expressing their individuality. So you may be feeling that way yourself. Okay. So let's get to the reading here. So we have the 10 of swords energy, 10 of swords energy. Um, this is, um, Gemini energy here. This is about, uh, being, uh, Betrayed. Some of you may be going through surgery or having a surgical surgical procedure being done, and you. Um, I hope all is well with you guys, and I wish you a speedy recovery. Okay, some of you are going in for surgery. Um, some of you get acupuncture. Um, maybe there was some type of issue that you have with your back. Uh, for some of you, you you get acupuncture for your back. Um, even though this sword is 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 front down, you can get acupuncture in the front as well. But for some of you, I'm getting strongly your back. Um, but yeah, this is also about, you know, multiple people, um, maybe turning against you. Some of you may be coming out of being yourself, being you, being an individual, you know, being a unique person, whether that's coming out of the closet, whether that's, um, you know, wanting to wear certain attire in opposed to what everybody else is wearing, um, maybe going opposed to, or in the opposition of the rules and regulations in a certain organization that you're in. Um, maybe, um, and then this is people ridiculing you about that because maybe they secretly want to change, but you know, you're just a scapegoat at this time. And then I have the, the, um, ace of cups. So for some of you, you're doing what you love. All right. You're taking this, you're taking this energy because of what you love or who you love, you know, and, and about love and because of love. So with you guys, um, Venus is in your, it's in your, um, in your 11th house. It looks like, yeah, it's in your 11th house. So your 11th house is all about, um, you know, like-minded people, organizations. So a lot of you might be going up against your organizations and you have people or going up against, you know, maybe um, some family traditions or things like that. All right. And then we have the world card in reverse. So this could be talking about lessons that have not been learned, um, things that, um, you know, this is talk about lack of travel as well, not being able to travel. But this is talking about maybe un, not not being able to unearth fixed energy, like not being able to change things. So maybe it's the change has to happen within you because you can't change certain things. Um, that's what I'm getting strongly here. The current energy I have here for you is the five of swords reverse. So this is telling me that you've realized and speaking of not being able to change things and being aware that no matter what you do, some things you're not going to be able to change, okay? You're just going to have to go your individual path for some of you. But with this Five of Swords reverse, this is telling me that you're realizing that and you understand that no matter what you do, 
things are not going to change, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in a work environment, whether it's in an organization that you're in um, or a project that you're participating on, no matter what it is, you've come to the conclusion that things are not going to change. OK, and so you realize that and you're like, OK, you know what? I'm not fighting this anymore. It's not making any sense to me. You know, I'm not participating in this because it's not going to benefit me in any way, shape or form. So for some of you, this is a lot of people, um, you know, um, leaving organizations that don't have the belief that they have. OK, this is a lot of people leaving a job or an employer that has no longer serves them. OK, um, this is a lot of people leaving about heritage and tradition of uh, uh, family traditions and things like that, that they feel no longer serve them. OK, now the energies that are positively or negatively affecting this is the eight of cups reverse. Now, what I'm getting strongly is that people learn their lesson because the eight of cups in reverse not only represents someone going back to a situation that they've been walking away from. You know, back in and out, in and out, because it tugs at them emotionally. That is what occurred for some of you, okay? Because this is some for some of you, this is related to family. For some of you, um, it's a family you created. For some of you, it's a family you were born into. But this is telling me that maybe, for example, you went back because you didn't learn lessons. When you had the world card in reverse, this is Saturn energy. Saturn energy is about learning your limitations, learning the lessons, learning what you can and can't do, what you should and should not do. All right. And it looks like with this in reverse, you did not learn that. So maybe this is why there's the back and forth, because you're not seeing it. But this card is telling me maybe now things have changed. So, you know, there was that back and forth, but now maybe you're finally getting it. Now, the inner the past energies here. Eight of swords. So, yeah, you didn't see it or maybe you were turning a blind eye. So this could have been something that was going on in the organization that you're in. This could be something that's going on in your workplace. Um, this could be something that's going on in your school. You know, this could be something that's going on on your baseball team. This could be something that's going on in your sorority. This could be something that's going on in your um, country club. You know, this is something that could be going on in your, um, you know, in your soul group. Uh, you know, this could be something that's going on in your religious organization. You know, any place where, you know, people are turning a blind eye to things. It looks like people are saying enough is enough. OK, this could just be you turning a blind eye to some things that, you know, you didn't like, but you just went along with just because that's what everybody else was doing. And to avoid ridicule from everybody, you know, you just went ahead and turned a blind eye to it. Now, in the recent past, we have the four of cups. But so for some of you, this wasn't enough. You know, this wasn't right. You felt you see this guy's face. He could feel ashamed. You know, this could be representation of the organization offering you, hey, but we'll offer you this, we'll offer you that, we'll offer you this. And you could just be like, no, that's not, it's still not helping. You know, it's not for me. It doesn't work for me. You know, it's just not for me. It's something that, it's not for me is what I'm getting strongly here. All right, and so the crowning energy here is the Three of Swords. So someone is heartbroken over this. Um, I'm getting strongly that this has to do with um, an organization, maybe that's family-oriented, a family heritage. We do have um, the the energies right now of um, the solar eclipse, I'm sorry, the lunar eclipse in Cancer. Cancer is all about the home. It's all about heritage, heredity, things like that. We also have Uranus in your second house or your first house, but it's in the second house. The second house has to do with social privileges, cultural background, heredity, things like that. So I'm getting strongly this has to do with someone rebelling against the group or deciding, you know, that a family tradition is no longer something that they um, want to participate in. It doesn't make sense for them. It doesn't sit well with them, uh, whether it's a fraternity, whether it's a country club, whether it's, you know, um, some type of um, social group. You know, whether it's a religious organization, whatever it is, it's like you're not getting anything out of it is what I'm getting strongly here. And although, you know, you love your family, you love your, you know, whomever, your brethren or your, you know, your sisterhood, you love them. And you know that, you know, a lot of them are going to turn their back on you because you're going against the grain. You, you just can't help but to say, you know what, this is just not making any sense to me. I'm not, you know, this is, it's just not sitting right with me at all. You know, it's not sitting right with me emotionally, you know, and, and I've thought about this and, 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 you know, decided on this. 
And it's just not making any sense. For some of you, this is a relationship, okay, um, that you've been in. And you are um, coming to the conclusion that you're going to leave this relationship. Some of you can been in this relationship. Oh my gosh, look at all these cups. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 years for some of you. Um, all these swords here. Some of you could have been in this relationship. 18, yeah, like I said. 18, 20, 22 years. 25 years for some of you. All right, almost 30 years. This is, you know, this is solid time in a relationship. This is not something light. Okay? Some of you, this could have been an organization that you were introduced and you've been in, you know, for the last 17, 18 years of your life. Okay? So, um, in your in your fears, we have the Nine of Swords reverse. So, you're fearing... You're fearing... Um, hmm. Some of you have been isolated from your family and friends or felt isolated mentally because of your thoughts and your views because everybody is looking at you like you know what mm -mm, that's not no that's not how we do things you're going against tradition you're going against you know so you know this is representing um the fact that you letting go of the fact that look you know people are not going to accept what it is that you want so for some of you your fear is that you'll you'll let this go is what i'm getting here um, for some of you, you know, you're letting go of the defensiveness. You don't no longer feel like you have to defend yourself is what I'm getting strongly. It's like you're, you're tired of hearing everybody's complaints about things, everybody's opinion about it. You could care less now. You know, you it's like the, you know, you, you rip the wound, the, the, the band-aid off the wound and it stings. Well, this is where the stinging is coming down now. So everybody knows what it is now. Now, how people see you and how your family and them see you. Um, your organization members, your co-workers, your lover, whomever, okay? This is a situation where you're rebelling and you're realizing that this is not for you. And this is how people see you. They see you as not being honest, not being truthful. Some of them see you as actually being um, hateful to them. Like I said, with Uranus energy coming in to change things, it, it looks as though you're rebelling. It That's the energy that it gives off. Okay, so for some of you, you know, your parents or your family members, as far as, you know, you following the cultural norms, they're seeing you as rebelling. For some of you, in reference to your organization, you know, your brethren or your sister in your organization, they're seeing you as someone who um, is just turning your back, you know, on, on the organization, which is why a lot of them feel this way. Okay, so... Um, it, it, this is not a good light as far as how people see you, but you probably already know this. Some people see you as not being honest, not being truthful, not telling the whole truth about something. You know, some people just see you as being doing this to be petty. You know, it's interesting the different views that come from uh, um, the Knight of Swords. Now, in your hopes, we have the Five of Wands reversed. Like, you, you don't want to fight. You just want to be who you are. OK, so some of you, you're coming out of the closet here and you just want to be who you are. You just want to be accepted for who you are and what truly rings true to you. OK, and not to be able to do that. Especially around your family and your friends and for them not to accept you for who you are and for them to treat you as if you're an outcast or a black sheep. I mean, that's a lot to take. You know, as far as the organization or the job that you're at here, um, you know, this may have been um, a job that you really loved, okay? But in your fears here, you know, you're no longer defending yourself about what's going on. Something could have taken place where someone may have felt that you were taking advantage of a situation, okay? And perhaps, um, you know, you were toiling with this in your head and you realize okay I'm going to stop participating in this because you could have at, a, at one point the five of swords is like yeah you're doing something that you don't care how it's going to affect you a lot of times this is people like I don't care I'm going to I'm going to take those m &Ms. I'm hungry as hell I don't care if the camera sees me type energy like it that's just minor like you know you shouldn't do it you know it's not going to you know it might satisfy you temporarily but it, it, the, it's more trouble than it's worth type energy and this is where you realize that you know what I mean? After you've gone back and forth with it a few times, okay? You've dabbled in it. You know for a fact it's worth. It's not worth your time, okay? So you've tried it, you know, you've gone to church. For some of you, this is you not going to church telling your family that you're not Christian. You know, this is you going to church 
you know, and then, then this is you just acting as if it does, you know, okay, everything is okay, you know, and then you decide to rebel again. But yeah, there's a lot of in and back and forth um, in reference to this. Now, the outcome here I have is the King of Wands. This immediately tells me that, you know what, they're going to have to accept it for who I am. They're going to have to accept me for who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. If they don't like it, it's too bad. Some of, Like I said, some of you are coming out of the closet. King of Wands energy talks to me about that. Someone who um, is very creative, someone who is very talented, who um, is in touch with their um, spiritual side, um, someone who um, may go against the grain in reference to what the other uh, members are doing. This is someone who is afraid, not afraid to stand up and do their own thing. This is a leader. This is not anybody. Does this look like somebody who follows someone and follows the status quo? No. This is somebody who goes out on their own and establishes their own, and that's how they feel about it. So for some of you, you're going out here, you know, and this you might be in this work environment, and you may love what you do, but you know that this is not getting you anywhere, okay? And no matter what you do, there's always some type of problem that comes up that lets you know it's time for you to move on because this is just no longer where you belong, okay? And, you you know, you've gone back and forth with it again numerous times. Various situations occur, you turn a blind eye to it, and it's gotten to the point where it just it's really too much for you, okay? It's too much. You're not being appreciated for what you're doing or what you bring into the table, whether it's a job or a relationship or an organization, whatever it is. You're not feeling appreciated, and you're done defending yourself about it, okay? You've revealed what it is that you're, you're feeling and how you want to do things and what it is that you want. You've revealed that. And, you know, no matter how people look at you, you know, you just want peace. You're not here to fight anybody or hurt anybody or cause any unnecessary drama. That's not your goal. Your goal is just to be you. To be in your power, your glory, doing what it is that you want, making your life happy. You're not hurting anybody. You're not harming anybody. Right? So that's the strong, that's the energy I'm getting for you guys here. So what I'm going to do, I do want to clarify, but before we do, um, oh, just so you know, um, there's a link below, okay, that takes you to the Patreon membership page. I told you about the contest. I swear I did. But if I didn't, just keep in mind that um, at the end of the month, you have to be a Patreon member. So you'd have to join the membership site, the link's below. At the end of January, I'm going to do a read, I'm going to pull five winners Four of you are going to get a free one question reading. Um, two of you are going to um, get a free 30 minute recorded reading. All right. But the only qualifications are you have to be a member of the Patreon site. So the link is below. Now, let's get you some advice here. Let's see what Spirit has for my Taurus Master. What do we have for my Taurus Massive? Those who are going against the grain, doing what it is that they feel is right, going by their belief system and what's important to them and living their life the way they want to. We have nine. Number nine, broken heart. But nines are about completions, okay, or getting to a, a point of completion. So let's see what this message is for number nine. This is the energy oracle that we're going to be looking at. All right, so broken heart. So it says this card shows a heart broken up. I'm sorry, broken open, revealing darkness, emptiness, and a grief filled tear. The hurt may be from long ago, or it may be the pain from a more recent event. Either way, a deep healing is called for now. Vent your feelings and release the person or situation involved. Affirm that you are reclaiming your power and peace of mind. Okay, affirm that this King of Wands is all about reclaiming power, stepping into your power. All right, affirm that you are reclaiming your power and peace of mind. Open your heart to the light of divine love and healing and have compassion for yourself through this difficult process. Make self-care a priority now as you let go of old experiences. You can open your heart to the true and abiding love that you so rightly deserve. Okay, so this is in reference to family, family members, close friends, those you love, those close to you, maybe a lover, you know, um, not understanding you. 
This could also be from, like I said, from a long time ago, growing up when you were a child. This could be something that uh, happened to you, okay? Um, either way, this is uh, calling for healing, okay? Whether it's just this situation, again, a lot of you, this could be something that stemmed from when you were a kid, okay? Because this is all about family and tradition is what I'm getting here strongly with this reading, all right? So this situation may have triggered that, something that went on in your childhood, that you may not have healed from, some type of childhood trauma. But the universe is saying that you want to open your heart to the light of the divine love and healing and have compassion for yourself during this time. Okay, so spirit wants you to do things for yourself. Take care of yourself. Um, do things to pamper yourself. You know, make sure you're eating right. Make sure you're taking care of yourself as much as you can as far as getting exercise. Make sure you're putting yourself and your spirits around people who truly support and resonate with your energy. Don't be around people if you don't have to that, you know, are not, don't have your best interests. You know, whether it's family or not. Don't subject yourself to family members who treat you terribly and show you no love. It's easier said than done. And a lot of us go through it. A lot of us do. But, um, you know, you, you have to determine, you know, what you're going to deal with and what you're not going to deal with. But just know that, you know, you're going to have people, oh, well, that's your family. This and that and that and this. But listen... If someone is disrespectful to you and rude to you, if they weren't your family, what would you do? Okay? And so if this is a consistent thing with them, what do you think you should do? To hell with what everybody else in the family says. To hell with um, having to explain yourself and, and, and having to, you know, um, well, you know, this is what it is. This is what I'm explaining yourself. To hell with that. Now I have Dove Spirit, Be Peace. This card definitely speaks to me in reference to this situation because all this sore energy, this could be very frustrating and this can make someone feel very defensive and um, ready to prepare themselves for any type of war, okay? By any means necessary, you're not going to just, you know, be this way to me, you know, and, and, and you hope that you don't have to have this type of situation. You don't want to fight, okay? So what you want to do is you want to be the peace that you want to see, so you may be around people who are ignorant, who just don't know any better, and they happen to be relatives, people you have to deal with. Or they could be people at your job that you just have to deal with them. You know, what you want to do is, Spirit is telling you here with this card just to take the upper, you know, take the take the uh, approach of someone who is the one who has to make the peace in the situation so that, you know, you maintain, you know, that control, Okay. Because it's not worth it for you or for anybody else involved, but especially you to not be the peace that you want to see and to de-escalate a situation that could occur. Because there are some people who are just not going to agree with what you are. There are going to be some people who want to be mean to you because of that. You know, they may see you as somebody who, you know, whatever their, their ideology or their view of you is. You know who you are and who you are not. And always come from a place of love. Some of you, you do need to heal this broken heart so that you can be the peace you want to see. Some of you are not able to be that peace until you heal from past wounds. And this situation may be triggering those past wounds. Um, I'm going to pull a message of love oracle for you guys. I'm going to pull three and then we're going to go and clarify these cards. So let's see what advice spirit has for you here. So I have addiction. So it says an addiction is affecting this relationship. So for some of you, you may have a serious addiction here. Okay. There's a lot of cups here, so it could be drinking. Okay. Um, there's a lot of swords here. So it could be, you know, um, any type of um, narcotic drug or um, any type of chemical based drug. You know, um, it could be prescription medication. You know, for some of you, like I said, maybe you got pain from an accident. And so maybe you're on prescription medication, um, and as a result, you're going through this situation. You may be dealing with something um, and, ref and other things besides that, you know. And so maybe the addiction is what's causing you extra and what's triggering you. Okay, maybe some of you are triggered. Maybe some of you are being triggered to uh, participate in addictive behavior. Doesn't necessarily have to be a drug, but it could just be in. You know, um, like we got these nine, we got eight, nine, and ten sword energy here. Okay, all this sword energy. This is a lot of mental energy, a lot of mental pain and anguish. 
So some of you are definitely doing something to, um, you know, help to heal that. Okay, so it could be food. Some of you could just be overeating. Okay, any type of anything that you're using to, to help you cope with this. All right, now let's take a look and see what else is going on. For some of you, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. So for some of you, this situation, um, it calls for acceptance. Uh, this could be to people who are watching for um, Taurus. Maybe um, you have a Taurus friend or family member who's come to you and tell you that, you know, they're gay, you know, or that they are transsexual or whatever their um, identity is in reference to how they feel about themselves and their relationships. Um, and maybe they just need acceptance from you. Okay. So maybe all of this is happening for a reason. Maybe this is forcing you to accept yourself. Maybe the information that you were trying, you maybe you were trying to hide this information from family and friends and it just came out for whatever reason. And all you wanted in the end was acceptance. You don't want to fight. You just want acceptance and you want to be who you truly are. All right, let's see what other, uh, one more here and we'll go to the extended. Oops. Okay, I have integrity. It says, does this situation align with your morals and values? Again, for a lot of you, this is about reputation and how the family looks and how you look and what's right to you and what's not right to you. Okay, so a lot of you have a lot of, 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 of soul searching to do in reference to determining if this situation um, aligns with your morals and values. You know, is this something that is just a temporary feeling for you or is this something that is truly who you are and what it is that you want to do. You know, for example, for some of you who um, may be explaining to your family members that you are interested in members of the opposite sex, um, some people um, do this in re in, in because they want to experiment. But some people come, okay, when I say do it, some people come out of the closet because a lot of what they're seeing right now is it being culturally accepted and they may want to try something different. All right, and so they um, come out in that way. Some people, this is something that is deep-rooted in them, and this is who they are, okay? And so basically what the Spirit is saying is determine why you are, you know, um, you know, if this aligns with your morals and values and why, okay? So there's a difference between wanting to experiment and experience something versus someone who says, you know what, this is who I really am. I just never said anything about it before because I just didn't want to be, you know, ridiculed or or having to explain myself, you know, um, or having to act as if, you know, I'm not this when I am, you know what I mean? So for some of you, you just have to look at those things and see what's best for you. All right. That was your reading, Taurus. If you want to come over to the extended, the link is below. Don't forget about the contest. And I will see you guys next week for your weekly.